Alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today I'm doing another conspiracy theory video. Today's video is really special because this is a virtual collab with my friend Michelle here on YouTube. So after you're done watching this, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, and go over and watch her video. Her video is going to be on Kurt Cobain and how he may be still alive just like Elvis, which is what I'm talking about in this video. Before we get started, I just wanna say thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. I am going to make an entire video on that. It might be a little bit late because I have a lot of things already pre-recorded on my channel, but it's coming, but I just didn't wanna go on with this video without acknowledging that first. Now, without further ado, let's get into this conspiracy because it's gonna be a good one. Elvis Presley, you guys all know him as the king. I'll be my temperature rising. What if I were to tell you that Elvis is still alive? As most of you may know, he died in 1977, allegedly, due to a drug overdose, his heart stopped, that was the cause of his death. Now, why would Elvis Presley fake his own death, you may ask? He had the fortune, the fame. I believe that he wanted to go on to live a normal life and that's why he tried to end what he had going for him at the moment because he had the funds to make it happen and go on and to live without having to perform the way that he was. Yes, girls were chasing after him. Yes, he made all this money, but there was also a lot of controversy when it came to his music because he was so wild and out there. <laughs> and no one had ever really seen someone perform the way that Elvis was before. So he had a lot of haters as well. And it was just a lot of pressure in general. If you look at stars that are recent, like Justin Bieber, he no longer takes pictures with fans because he doesn't want to be looked at like a piece of meat. Miley Cyrus, she wanted to ditch her Disney Channel image. So now she's out there twerking and trying to be a different person than she was in the beginning. I can see how people would get sick of that sort of thing when they're expected to be a certain way or they constantly have to worry about paparazzi. It just does make a lot of sense to me why he would no longer want that lifestyle. And right before he allegedly died, there were a lot of reports of his music not making the charts, not doing as well. And even if he had stopped doing music, his fans would never have let him really live a normal life and die out like that. So I think in his case, he thought that faking his own death was necessary. I forgot to mention that around this time, Elvis had also lost $10 million in a property deal that was allegedly connected to the mafia. So that could also be another reason why he would want to fake his death. So with all that being said, I definitely do see why the idea of starting over would appeal to him but that is clearly not evidence. That is just my two cents on it before we dive into some of the actual facts we have going on here. So when he died on his tombstone, it said Elvis Aaron Presley. On his birth certificate, he spelled Aaron with one A, A-R-O-N. On his tombstone, it said Aaron with two A's, A-A-R-O-N. I believe that that was a subliminal message to his fans that that wasn't really him in the tombstone. There are also people who came out and said, hey, that's not him in the casket. There was a picture on the cover of a newspaper magazine. His eyebrows were different, his nose, was claimed to be different. He had a sideburn that was like falling off. Also, the hands on the person in the casket were soft. They weren't clammy and calloused like Elvis's were because he took years of martial arts. So his hands were just kind of like hands that had been worn out and the persons in the caskets, they just did not look like Elvis. And people who were actually there in person to see him lying in the casket said that it seemed really cold around it. Like there was an AC inside the casket. So if it wasn't him that it was possibly a wax figure and they needed the AC in there to keep it cold so it didn't melt. Going along with this also, the autopsy of how he died was kept private. His father said that he did not want it released to the public until the year 2027. If he really is still out there, he probably would have actually died at that point and it wouldn't have mattered anymore. On the contrary to that, a lot of people do believe that his father wanted to cover up Elvis's drug addiction. That's why he did not want the autopsy being released to the public. The reason why the autopsy is such a big deal is because the doctor who pronounced Elvis dead said that he died due to a heart thing, that his heart was irregularly beating, but you cannot diagnose someone with that condition unless they are alive because when they're dead, like you can't really tell. So that raised a lot of controversy and that's why they ended up actually releasing the autopsy earlier than 2027 in 1994. Elvis wanted to be buried next to his mother and the body was buried next to his father and his grandmother. 
Maybe that's because the real body of Elvis Presley, who is still alive, is going to be buried next to his mother, not the fake body. It's just kind of weird to me because you would think they would take that kind of thing seriously, especially when you are Elvis Presley, like spelling your middle name correctly on the tombstone and being buried next to your mother when that's like the only thing you really asked. And I just want to remind you guys, he did have the money to make this all happen. It wasn't like he couldn't afford to pay people off and arrange this sort of thing because I don't think that this is just specific to him and you guys will learn about that in Michelle's video. The day after Elvis died, his love Lucy received a rose and with it came a card that had her pet name for Elvis which was L. Lancelot that nobody else knew like she claimed that nobody else knew the secret pet name so maybe that was his way of telling her that he was still out there and that he loved her that gives me chills like honestly like that's freaking crazy another thing that is really convincing going along with the theory that he's still alive is two hours after he was announced dead Someone bought a ticket to Buenos Aires and paid in cash that looked just like Elvis and they went under the name John Burroughs, which was his alias that he used when he was checking into hotels on tour. That way his fans couldn't find him. Like, oh, is Elvis checked into this hotel because he was under that fake name? That's because it probably was Elvis. Like, think about it, you guys. He's fleeing the country and he's paying in cash. There have been several sightings or alleged sightings of Elvis since his death. If you look it up on YouTube, you'll find a whole bunch of stuff, some more serious than others. A really big one or one that I find pretty convincing would be in the movie Home Alone that came out in 1990. The scene of which the mom in that movie is in the airport, there's a guy behind her and it looks just like Elvis, like an extra in the movie. And that guy looks to be around the age of 55. Elvis, at the time that this movie was shot, would have been 55 years old. Dude looks just like him, like identical. Even before people came out with YouTube videos pointing it out, people were saying this. Like if you look it up, there's a ton of people who noticed it before like the masses noticed it because they just look that similar. You may ask yourself why he would risk being an extra in a movie because people could find out he was still alive, but there's no real way to track him down just based off of that clip, which was in the movie years ago. And we still don't know 100% if it was him. They just do look identical. So it's a little bit creepy to think that that might have been him making an appearance for his fans in that movie. It's a really widely known fact that Elvis Presley was very good friends with Muhammad Ali. They have several pictures together, but there's this one picture in particular that was taken several years after Elvis's death, I believe it was in 1984. And the guy in the back of the photo, it's Muhammad Ali and some friends. The guy in the back looks just like Elvis. It looks like he's nodding off on drugs. Supposedly, people asked Muhammad Ali who that was in the back and he said, that's my friend Elvis. Again, he allegedly said this, there is no recorded footage of him saying this, but even if he did not say it was Elvis, who is that guy? Like, I can't explain it. He looks just like Elvis. They were very good friends. I'm assuming that his best friend would probably know if he was still alive. Maybe it's possible. So that was a little bit fishy. There's also this one photograph that was taken in Graceland where he's from. And it appears to be Elvis's reflection on this door of him in like the pool that someone took. And it does look a lot like him. There have been multiple photos similar to these two, but I thought that these two were really good pieces of evidence among the rest. These two really stood out to me because the resemblance is crazy. Now leading up to more recent Recently, this is why this has been such a trending topic these past few months. On Elvis's 82nd birthday, there is sort of like a celebration at his former home in Graceland, which by the way, is the second most visited home next to the White House. And there was a man there who looked just like him if he were to be 82 years old and still living today. The similarities were crazy. He looked into the camera when he first got there. He also looked into the camera when he left and he had bodyguards behind him, almost as if they were there to protect him. Like I said earlier, if he did fake his own death, I'm sure there are people who do know about this that are close to him, bodyguards included, because he does need that kind of security and he does have the money to keep people quiet. Like. If you are Elvis Presley, you can afford to shut people up. So they appear to be there kind of like watching over him. Now here's the kicker. This guy, Elvis, or insanely accurate Elvis lookalike, raised up his two fingers, this is giving me chills, on his left hand in the shape of a V. And according to numerology, that symbolizes life, like alive. Like, I'm still here, I faked my own death. You may ask yourself, why would he go out in plain sight like that and risk it all just like the Home Alone movie? But again, he probably has been out in public several times where people saw him and people have just wrote off like those people were crazy or he's just been able to go out like that unnoticed, especially if he's been in hiding for this long, like why not risk it? Like I would go out, it's almost too obvious to where no one's really gonna think twice about it. But when people look back and they look at the screenshot, they look at the video and all that of this dude, it's like, that's super creepy. He's at his 82nd birthday, but he's still here. Like, 
I think that this adds up almost too perfectly. I really do think that he's trying to give out signals. He's trying to give out messages to his fans. I do think that a lot of people want this to be true because they want him to live on because they are such big fans of him. But just looking at it realistically, it makes a lot of sense whether you were a huge fan of him or not, whether you want him to be alive or you truly just don't really care. It makes sense that he may still be alive. And I do think that this happens more than people would think. Again, shout out to Michelle's video. You guys can watch that once I wrap this up here. But one more thing I do want to add because this is probably the most convincing piece of evidence going along with this theory. Allegedly, there is a $1 million life insurance policy attached to Elvis Presley that has never been cashed because doing so would be illegal because he's still here. Again, this is a conspiracy theory. This is all allegedly. There's no way I could like really prove that to you guys. If that is the case, I 1000% believe he's still alive. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. If you guys want more conspiracy theories, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow my social media. I'll have it on the screen. And again, do not forget to check out Michelle's video on Kurt Cobain because it's going to be good. She's the queen of conspiracy theories and I freaking love her. So make sure you check that out. I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.